Okay, thank you. Thank you, Hami, and thank you, everybody, for joining this uh, webinar. And uh, so I'm really happy, actually, you know, to introduce, uh, uh, let's say, uh, just uh, maybe two or three number of our solutions, because I was told that I need to go through the SIP architecture and SIP CAD. But if we have, you know, a little bit time, so also I can a little bit talk about the open beam layout as well. But uh, right now, mainly, I'm uh, going to focus on SIP architecture and SIP CAD. So if I want to talk about the our application, so as uh, my friend Jaime mentioned about that, so we have the uh, 151 applications. As you can see here, this is the uh, BIM Server Center uh, account. This is my account. Definitely, this is uh, completely uh, free of charge. So just you can uh, search in your Google browser or Edge browser, and uh, you can create your own account without any cost. And uh, so it's not uh, only about the uh, creating account to see the models and uh, BIM Server Center. Actually, you know, if you want to talk about it, so maybe we need about uh, you know two or three hours, you know, just to let you know what is the BIM Server Center is. But uh, for uh, this short, uh, let's say, period of time that we have, so first of all, I want to tell you, uh, once you create the BIM Server Center, so here you have actually you know this icon, and then here you can go to the store. And once you click on the store, so you have this uh, solutions. So if I go to, for example, a structural analysis, so just click on that. And then so everything is categorized for, for you. And uh, so this is the solutions. And uh, maybe here I can mention about the site CAD, which is today we are going to go to focus on that. And it is uh, customized for analysis and design of building type structures for especially, you know, mid-rise, high-rise, and definitely, you know, the housing systems. So you can use SIPCAD. But at the same time, so we have also other solutions like SIP3D. Uh, just, uh, you know, to, to uh, give you a rough idea. So SIP3D is a general purpose solution for analysis and design of any type of structure. So it doesn't matter. It can be building, it can be warehouses, it can be, you know, any industrial uh, structure, dam, dome, so it doesn't matter. So any type of structure can be uh, model, analyzed, design, and even, you know, in some extent, you can generate the drawings as well. Okay, so this is the thing. And uh, here already my friend Jaime mentioned about the site connect, which means, you know, if you have the steel structures, not only steel structures, even if you have the connection between the steel and timber or steel and concrete, so you can use the site connect uh, software as well, which is a, you know, a finite element based solution. And definitely you can uh, go for complex configuration of the connections using this software. And uh, so just uh, I leave, uh, you know, the, the other explanation about the structural solution to you. So I hope you have time to go to BIM Server Center and create your own account. And uh, you will see all this uh, information here. Uh, if I go to the architecture, so here we have the SIP architecture and uh, even, you know, you have the IFC builder. So as you know, nowadays, uh, one of the advanced file format that we can exchange data is the IFC file format. So without any effort, you can, you know, just uh, download the IFC builder. You can just like AutoCAD, okay? So you can create your own, uh, let's say, you know, the, the geometry of the structure. And at the same time, actually, no, you are creating the IFC file format and simply you can you know exchange this uh, data to any uh, software okay and uh, so for here you can see the application is free for example here SIP architecture is completely free IFC builder is completely free okay so it is uh, worth to mention that uh, SIP doesn't charge you for modeling solutions okay uh, SIP architecture actually is like a Revit Okay, but uh, it's not like Revit, you know, you need to buy the software. So it's completely free because it is the modeling tool. Okay, so that's why no need to pay any amount for SIP architecture. So this is actually, you know, a big advantage of using uh, our solutions. So here you have, you know, all the, also if, especially if you are involved in uh, BIM based uh, projects, so you have all the solutions, okay? So for example, you have the air conditioning. So here you can actually you know, access them. You have the acoustic analysis, you have the electrical installations, 
you have the energy analysis, you have the fire protection, you have the health and safety, you have the lightning, uh, or let's say lighting analysis, MEP analysis, project documentation, project execution. Okay, so you have a plenty of uh, solutions and you don't need to jump from SAIP to any other solution to complete your, uh, let's say design process. For, so once I'm saying design process, so it is from the first stage from the, let's say planning, up to, uh, let's say, you know, the management and even operation. Okay, so let me just uh, shorten my talk about the uh, applications. And uh, let me go to SIP architecture. So this is the SIP architecture, and this is the environment. And uh, so here you have actually you now the three, you know, simple, uh, let's say, tabs. So you have the sketch, you can go to the, uh, create the grid lines and then here just like, you know, any CAD software. So you have the necessary tools, you know, to create anything that you want. And then here you have the edit option. So at the, uh, let's say, uh, left side, you have actually option to create the plan view, elevation view, and even, you know, uh, just uh, um, the complete tree view or a 3D view, or even you can, you know, just uh, isolate, you know, a portion of the structure, uh, you know, and then present it as, uh, 3D view. Um, so here, for example, I can go to the roof. Okay. And then, so this is the roof. And once I'm here, so just uh, hover your cursor. And then, so you can see the information of this uh, element. For example, here I have the floor slab. So let me uh, come a little bit, uh, uh, let's say go to, for example, uh, this elevation. Okay. And then, so here you have actually, you know, the window and you have all the information. So you can go for uh, let's say, you know, LOD 500, even, you know, using uh, SIP architecture. However, uh, you know, we uh, recommend you to use, again, BIM Server Center, because in BIM Server Center, so you can uh, seamlessly uh, collaborate, you know, with other disciplines, okay, with, uh, let's say, architect, uh, architect, with the structural engineer, mechanical, electrical, plumbing engineer, and we have all the tools, actually, you know, for you, even you can go to the clash detection as well. Okay, so you have all these uh, features, flexibility, efficiency, and uh, productivity, you know, using uh, this uh, these tools. Okay, so here you can go to this uh, direction. And then, so if I go to the uh, architecture, so here you have the, again, you know, the levels, the types, the tags, and uh, we are actually, you know, connecting to different libraries of the architectural elements. Okay, so here, if I uh, go to the, uh, library. So as you can see here, we are actually you now working with different manufacturer. Okay, so you can, you know, just uh, download the, for example, here. So simply I can click on download, I, I will accept the terms and condition. And then so you can download the uh, catalogs. Okay. And uh, for example, for vertical elements, so here you have the wall, curtain wall, you know, railing and also lower. And if I click on the wall, for example, here, so here you can, you know, just uh, uh, set the uh, modeling type. Okay, and uh, here, you know, based on the catalog that you have, so simply you can, you know, just, uh, you know, place the place the wall. Let me go to this direction. Okay, if I go to, for example, edit option, so here I have this window, just I can click on this window. And then here, as you can see, you have the plenty of uh, window types. Okay, so, or if I go to, for example, uh, let's say, you know, one of this, uh, uh, another element, for example, uh, here, if I click on this, so again, here, you have actually, you know, plenty of uh, selection, which is all, uh, let's say, from the manufacturer. So you can uh, click on the uh, different material, for example, here, so you have the chimney, and then here, so you can, you know, just select different type of uh, chimney or even, you know, the material that you have here. And definitely you can adjust or customize, you know, whatever you want. Okay, and in terms of the uh, furnitures, so you can go to the furnitures and then here you have the, uh, let's say, like, a, you know, chair beds and, uh, you know, here you have the uh, worktop, you have the, uh, let's say, storage, you have the shelf. Okay, so if I click on um, each of them, for example, here and... Uh, you can maximize it, okay, but for now, just I'm trying to show you, uh, you know, the, the uh, let's say the, the uh, features that you have here, okay, and you can also, you know, go to the catalog, and even you can, again, you know, bring the uh, different <clears throat> type of uh, elements or furniture, you know, from the uh, library and manufacturer that we have here, or you can create 
for yourself, you know, just by going to the uh, library, you can create it for yourself. As you can see here, just I selected this one and then so I can put it here. Okay, something like this. Okay, is that, uh, let's say right now, something practical just to show you. And you have the home uh, appliances. Okay, so here you have all these things and then you have the uh, sanitary appliances and you have the garden. Uh, let's say elements and here also you have the you know uh, user objects you have the library you can insert the uh, let's say uh, predefined uh, sections or ele elements that you have already so you can bring it to uh, site architecture okay and uh, another thing that I can uh, tell you is about the uh, let's say you know the lightness of the software okay the software is really light compared to uh, let's say you know other uh, common uh, software or tools available in the market okay so simply i can actually you know go to uh, any direction any rotation i can rotate the model very simply okay so let me just uh, um, go to another model that i have here so in cyber architecture also you can bring the reinforcement so because uh, again as we said uh, we have the seamless integration between our solutions, okay? So once I'm thinking about the SIP architecture and SIP CAD, so which means, you know, these two software can talk to each other through BIM Server Center, okay? So through this, um, let's say, platform. If I go to BIM Server Center, so here I have my, uh, let's say, If I go to my uh, own uh, project that I have, okay, so here I can go to the project that I have here, and all the projects here is listed. So some of this project, you know, I created directly uh, through, for example, Sipcat, the software, analysis and design software. And at the same time, so I can synchronize the information into BIM Server Center. Or, you know, I received uh, uh, some of these uh, projects from uh, other uh, parties, okay, they, they share with me. And, uh, or I just, you know, generated the IFC file format from other solutions. And then, so using the IFC uploader, which is another application that we have. So I upload the uh, model into my uh, BIM server center. And then, so from that point, I can develop the uh, model. Okay, so uh, why I'm talking about this? Because here, so I have actually, you know, this uh, structure here. This is a, let's say, composite structure, including the steel elements and concrete elements. But for concrete elements, so here I have the reinforcement. So this reinforcement come from where? So this reinforcement usually come from the site CAD, which is the analysis and design software for uh, building type structures, okay? So, and why I need to bring the reinforcement here? So in, in site architecture. So from here, actually, no, as we said here, you have the sheets, you can go to different views, you can create the plan, you can create the sections, and, uh, you know, um, and, um, uh, you know, the flexibility in terms of the, uh, let's say, drawing uh, is is uh, much more better here. However, you have the open beam layout as well. OK, so here you have the open beam layout. And uh, for this, uh, uh, let's say, uh, platform, so I can actually not just go to the edit option. And as you can see here, so I can go to, uh, for example, different different views okay so just uh, dynamically i can change the view from here so this is uh you know uh just by you know some click you can you know just create the uh, sections and uh, not only that from here you can for example go to the normal image maybe you know hybrid image maybe you can go to the vector image Okay, because all the information are integrated. You have the scale factor, you have the image quality, you have the background. So you have all these options uh, to uh, come up actually you know, with the uh, great uh, drawing. Okay, you can create a section as you can see here. You have the tags, you have the text, you have the tables, you have the, uh, let's say, links, dimensions, sections. You can create the sections. Uh, if I go to, for example, elevation, so here I have the elevation and again, I can go there and from here again, I can actually you know, change the elevation. Maybe you want to um, just present the elevation, you know, in a normal um, view. 
okay or normal image so here you can you can change it uh let me show you uh, another thing for example uh, if i go to here i can go to the tag okay and then here um, for example i want to tag this uh, sofa okay so just click on that and then here so i have the uh, let's say you know this tagging okay so here you can you know just uh let's say edit the text and then here so you have the sofa okay so you have all this uh, let's say automatic uh, editing in inside the site uh, site architecture and right now by the way i'm showing you actually you know the open open beam layout okay so you have almost you know the same capability and uh, flexibility in site architecture as well and uh, for example if you go to the table so here you can go to the uh, let's say uh, table okay and then you can create the table you can actually go to the uh, table wizard and again you can actually you now change whatever you want to change okay so here i just go to the edits and then here so you can you now just click on the option and then here you have you can edit it okay so it means that uh, by using stripe architecture and uh, open beam layout so actually you no know, you don't need to use any uh, cat solutions um, and we have actually you know a complete cat solution as well for generating professional drawing but let me a little bit talk about the integration of the SIP architecture with the SIP CAD. Okay, so assume that uh, you have the architectural um, model, so you receive from another uh, company and you want to, uh, let's say, go for a structural design of that model. So usually what, what we can do. So most of the time, so we have the uh, let's say, you know, the CAD drawing in 2D drawing, and then we need to recreate the model from scratch okay so from zero in in our solutions so and it is really time consuming so but here once you are uh, working with site and it still doesn't matter uh, as you have the uh, capability to import the ifc file format into our software assume that you have the revit you have the archicad i don't know you have the you know uh, all plan or any other uh, model from any other architectural tools okay so you can ask them to generate the ifc file format and then for, you can uh, import it to site architecture and once you have it here so you can integrate it with site cat so how you can integrate it so let me go to this model okay so this is a model that uh, just uh, i received again you know this model was shared with me okay and this is uh, about you know uh, if i'm not mistaken 29 story building Let's say, you know, this is a kind of high res building. And uh, here again, so you can go to different tabs. You have the furniture, you have everything. You can go to the, you know, different uh, views. So right now here, I don't have any section here, but I want to show you how you can actually export this model to uh, Cype CAD, which is the analysis and design solution for building type structure. As you can see here, I have the, you know, the options for update the model into BIM Server Center. And also I can share the model by generating the IFC file format, okay? So here I will go to the structural analysis. So I have this, uh, let's say, um, architectural model. I will go to a structural analysis, just click on that. So I decided to show you, uh, let's say in live demo to actually uh, to, to, to feel the uh, workflow okay otherwise simply I could actually you know just show you you know some pictures but uh, I wanted to show you to have some experience about this okay so here just I click on that and then here export options so you can check the options and then so I will click on that it goes through the BIM server center so everything will be synchronized uh, in the BIM server center environment and then so we are we are going to sidecat software okay so now we have actually you know this uh, building exactly okay but here we are going to take the structural elements so we are not caring about the architectural uh, elements about the furniture about the appliances so just we are taking care about the structural elements and then here we have some updates okay so assume that uh, you have some changes in uh, in the model and the architecture uh, already, you know, has uh, changed the, you know, some elements or geometry of the model or structure. So you can update it 
and synchronize it in VIM Server Center. And again, so you can take the update elements, okay? So you don't need to bring it the entire structure again and again, okay? So just you can focus on the updated uh, part of the uh, structure. So here you have, you know, uh, some other options again. So I'm not going to explain everything here right now. Uh, but definitely, you know, once you are interested, you know, to use Cybe, so always you have our uh, support to, to answer your questions and uh, to address your concern. So don't worry about that. So right now I have the configuration of the structure and then, so I will click on the next. Okay, so here right now I'm in the floor plan and then here you have actually now all this floor plan if you want to change anything. So here actually now you're able to change the elevation of the structure and as you can see here, it shows you. And it means that uh, still actually no you have the flexibility you know once you are bringing the model from site architecture to site cat okay so here you have this uh, flexibility and then so once you just uh, satisfy with this procedure or stage so you can go to the wall so here you have the wall and if i click on this option so here you have the type of the wall okay so the thickness of the wall everything is here if you want to change so this is all the walls you know for different pillars Okay, and then so here also you have the type of the wall. So maybe you want to change the type of the wall. So you have the reinforced concrete wall, uh, plane stress wall, masonry wall. And also you can specify the boundary condition of the wall exactly at the support or at, at the base. Okay, so you want to fix it with the fixed support or pin support, or you want to add the foundation beam. So later, once I went to uh, sidecad, I will show you, you know, the, the uh, different features that we have actually, you know, for uh, not only wall, but also for columns, for beams and, you know, slabs. And uh, I will show you actually, you know, the, the uh, greatness of uh, all these features that we have and the flexibility that you can, you know, just uh, play with them. Okay, so I will go to the next step, which is the beams. Okay, so here... Let me just go to the next step, which is the floor slabs. And then I will go to the uh, building element. So here it's about the, uh, let's say partitions or uh, parapets. Okay, so I don't have any partitions or parapets, but if you want to consider something like this, so you can, you know, check the options to uh, just uh, generate the parapets as well. Okay, so then I will click on finish. So it takes uh, a little bit time, but uh, please bear with me. Okay, so here I have the elements, okay? And then, so if I go to the render view, Okay, so this is the structural elements of the particular model that I had in SIP architecture. You see how simply you can, you know, just focus on the structural elements. So here you have the beams, you have the columns, you have the walls. And right now, actually, now I'm in the render view of SIP CAD. Okay, so this is another area that I can talk about this maybe about 30 minutes. Okay, but uh, I don't have enough time. So for example, here, I want to look at the walls only, okay? So here, just I, I can activate the walls and then here, so I have the wall here. Maybe I want to look at the columns only. So here, I just simply, uh, you know, I can monitor the columns. So how how is the, let's say, you know, the, the uh, column position. So you have the options, you know, to go to different views. For example, here in the perspective mode, or actually, no, you can do it like this. You have, you know, the options, you know, just to double click on that. And you see here, you have the properties for the columns, for the elements, okay? So let me just go back there. And then, so maybe you want to look at the Pilates lab. So right now I don't have the Pilates lab, okay? So here, just I created, uh, let's say three uh, levels with the Pilates lab. Uh, if I close this, 
So here right now I'm in the uh, level one. Okay, so you can go there. And then so from here, you can you now simply go to different levels. So here you have options, you know, to go to different levels. Let's say go to level 32, and then I will accept it. And then here I have it. So using this option, you can go to level 33, or you can, you know, shift down or let's say go to upper pillars. Uh, if I go to the slabs, for example, here, I want to just assign, you know, a slab. Let's say our slab is 200 mm. So simply I click on this, for example, a slab. And then uh, let's say here I have this slab. And then so I go to the uh, copy panel. Let's say this one. As you can see, we have the options to copy different, uh, uh, let's say, parameters of the slab. Okay, it's not a simple copy. For example, here I can uh, only copy the depth of the slab, but uh, maybe you know the cover of this slab is different from the cover of, uh, for example, you know the corner slab. So that's why you know you can just uh, ignore it. Okay, so this is uh, you know kind of uh, flexibility that we have, and I was uh, talking about. Okay, so from here, so simply I can you know just click on that, and as simple as that, you can you know just create the slab at the level thirty four. If I go to for example level uh, thirty five, let's say here, if I go to level thirty five, so here I will just say that okay, so I want to actually you know take advantage of. Uh, uh, let's say uh, copy from the level 34 okay so here simply I can select this and then so here I can add the slabs you know to level 35 as well if I go to my render view right now okay once again so you see how simply you can you know add the uh, slabs here so this is actually you now these two pillars that I can add the slabs Okay, so, <coughs> excuse me. Okay, so I have I have this one. So this is, you know, just an example of uh, uh, integration of our Cypher architecture and Cypcat. So let me go to another model. This is actually, you know, uh, a real project that has been done. If I'm not mistaken, maybe Jaime can uh, help me, okay, or uh, correct me if I'm if I, if I'm wrong. So I think uh, this is in Spain or Argentina. So uh, this is actually you know, the real project already done with uh, site site cat, and as you can see here, so we have the uh, twenty nine. Uh, levels, but from here, and also we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, another, uh, let's say, uh, about 36 uh, floors. Okay. And uh, you can look at the uh, structure, which is a composite structure with the steel uh, elements and also concrete elements. And here you have actually now again the option to see the, uh, for example, you know, the uh, columns maybe. So this is actually now the columns. If you want to see, you can go to the walls, okay? So you can look at the wall systems, okay? So here, this is the wall system. And also you can look at the, let's say, you know, other slab system as well, okay? So you can filter anything that you want. And uh, at the same time, also you can actually now go to uh, create a section, okay? So here you can go to create a section in let's say X direction or in the uh, Y direction, Okay, this is actually you know, very nice, especially uh, once you want to discuss about, you know, a particular area of the uh, structure with your colleagues, or maybe, you know, you want to show the uh, project to, do, to the uh, clients as well. Okay, so you have actually you know, all these capabilities. And uh, not only that, so you can also show the, uh, let's say, structure based on the color coding. Okay, so here I have the material and I just, I can activate or deactivate the material to show the, uh, let's say, you know, the, the uh, render view of the structure in the color coding as well. Okay, so let me just close this. Uh, I want to show you the, because, uh, you know, this presentation is uh, especially for you. That's why I just uh, prepared, you know, this uh, kind of information to be appropriate for you. So in the concrete, so you have the IS, uh, or let's say Indian code for design of the concrete uh, material for ruled steel also you can go for, uh, let's say, um, use the Indian code as well. In terms of the wind load also here, you can go to apply the wind load according to India code. 
Okay, and uh, here you can actually know just uh, look at the wind map. And if you want to be more accurate, so here you have the selection of the city. Okay, so you can, you know, just select it by alphabets that you have here. So I'm not that familiar actually now with the uh, Indian city. So hopefully one day I can visit India as well. But anyway, so here actually now you have all these uh, things. Yeah, so I know Hyderabad. Okay, so here you have it. And then for example, here you want to select the Hyderabad. Okay, so here I can click on that. And then, so as you can see, so based on the wind map, so automatically the software actually now update the wind speed, which is 44 meter per second. Okay, so you don't need to worry about this. And then you have the train category. So here again, you can click on that. And then here you have all the information in front of your eyes. Okay, so you don't need to even open up the uh code okay so maybe for for the first or second time using uh type solution so if you want to make sure that everything is correct so you can open up the book but uh you know after let's say you know once or second time that you use site cat so and uh, make sure that actually you know the site uh you know uh include all the things we believe that actually you know 100 percent we are sure that you know every uh, single information is there but you know for your uh let's say concern okay so you can you know simply uh, rely to the information that you have here in, 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 in this window, okay, and simply you can uh, use it. And definitely, if you want to consider the P delta effect, you know, for wind load, so also you can activate the uh, P delta effect as well. In terms of the seismic, again, so here we have the seismic for, uh, let's say, uh, these two uh, versions, okay, so 2016 and uh, 2002. And again, so here you have all the information, for example, here you can click on that. And then here you have the analysis method and all the clauses, you know, according to the code. So you can read it here in terms of the seismic zone. Again, here you can click on the seismic map and uh, you have actually know all the uh, zones with all the information and also, you know, the PGA or P ground acceleration. You can actually know click on the uh, uh, seismic zone based on the series that you have here, as you can see, again, you know, just you need to uh, select the city and then so the information or uh, let's say, you know, the, the PGA will be updated automatically uh, for you. If you go to estimate estimation of the fundamental period of the structure, again, click on that and read the information. Okay, so here you can also, you know, click on this and here you have the formula. Okay, all according to uh, Indian code okay so if you go to uh, let's say a limit uh, uh, limit uh, or let's say drift limit between the floors okay so this is actually you know very important features that we have you know just for you can apply the target displacement okay in another way we can say target displacement assume that you want to control your drift okay so then you can say that okay so uh, based on the absolute or relative okay so you can you know just uh, uh, let's say force the software if the uh, drift of the structure, for example, is uh, more than 0.015 or 1.5% of the total height of the structure, so then the software automatically gives you the, uh, let's say, you know, the failure of the analysis or, uh, let's say, you know, the, the uh, elements, okay? So you can force the software uh, to, to uh, let's say, uh, limit the uh, drift. And uh, so here you have also, you know, the information about the uh, P delta. So again, you can read it. Okay. And uh, in terms of the uh, effect of uh, vertical uh, effect of seismic. So here again, you can read the information. So usually we go for um, considering, you know, 20 or 25% of the horizontal uh, effect of uh, seismic and uh, here also you have the base shear condition verification so the great thing about SIP uh, solution especially once you are doing the seismic analysis okay so you don't need to separately calculate the base shear according to ELF okay or equivalent lateral force method uh, because always we need to check the uh, let's say the, the uh, 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 design base shear once you are doing the responder spectrum analysis uh, you need to compare it with the uh, design base shear based on the ELF method, okay? So the SIP will do it for you automatically, okay? So this is, again, uh, one of the uh, unique features that we have in SIP, okay? So again, for P delta, if you want to consider it, you know, just, you know, you need to check the option. And definitely here, the software gives you the response spectrum uh, analysis as well, okay? Or, or let's say response spectrum care. Okay, so by changing actually, you know, this uh, information, so the uh, 
uh, response spectrum curve will be updated. But the interesting thing also is here, okay? So you have actually know the structural system with all the reduction coefficient, okay? Or reduction factor. So here you have the different system, lateral load resistance system. So you have all the factors or re reduction factors. And then here also you have the structural system for let's say uh, important factor, okay? So here all the information again, so is in front of you and in terms of the uh, spectrum multiple uh, multiple uh, multiply, uh, multiplication factor okay so here again you have actually know the information and here you can actually know put the value as well okay so this is about the uh, let's say codes but uh, i'm not going to go uh, to talk about the for example you know check uh, fire resistant check or about the limited state uls uh, sls so this is all automatic okay and uh, definitely you know about the um setting the concrete or material grade so here you have for concrete for a steel or this is still actually you know for uh, longitudinal and transfer reinforcement for the concrete and also for a steel sections for timber or aluminium so you have all this uh, uh let's say options you know to set okay so let me uh, go to open up this model in terms of the modeling so I just prepared this uh, simple model, but to show you the capability of the software, okay? So I start from the foundation, as you can see here, so you can go for different type of foundation. I have the pile cap, I have the uh, mat foundation, okay? Or raft footing here. So for this one, you have the foundation beam, you have the, uh, let's say, uh, combined footing here, you have the pad footing here, and even, you know, for the wall, you have the strip footing as well, okay? So here you have it. For the wall, I can, you know, just go a little bit upper. For the wall, you can actually now create different type of walls, okay? So later I will show you uh, with different types. Uh, you can create the openings here very easily. And uh, in terms of the columns, so later I will show you even more complex, uh, uh, let's say, structure. Uh, and then, so in terms of the opening, so you can go for partial opening just like this, okay? And uh, also you can go for, uh, let's say, you know, the, the entire opening, which is uh, something like here. In terms of the uh, dropping of the uh, slabs, so here you have actually, you know, simply you can go for uh, slab drops, okay? You can go for beam drops as well. Uh, you can uh, simply go for creating the staircases. So our staircases is the parametric uh, uh, method or approach. I will show you again later. And also we have the ramp. And again, ramp is parametric uh, as well. Okay, so I will show you uh, quickly. And then let me go to here. And uh, in terms of the beams, for example, here also, I can show you actually know the uh, beams here and also the staircases. Okay, let me just uh, go back here. And if you want to look at the more complex uh, model, so I will go to here. So we created actually now this uh, model just as a site model, as you can see here. So you have the slab. So this is the, let's say, you know, the site uh, logo. Okay, so, but you can simply, you know, create something like this. If I go to uh, this, uh, again, a structural element that we have, you see the interesting thing about the render view. So just like AutoCAD, in AutoCAD, we have the, or let's say in the CAD file, we have the uh, architectural layers, okay, or CAD layers. So here we have the structural layers, okay? So you can simply, you know, go to, uh, you know, focus on the, for example, you know, the, uh, the foundation. So here I have the foundation. I want to look at the uh, let's say floor one, which is actually, you know, the columns, okay? And then, so I can go to floor two, floor three, and then floor four, okay? Not only that, so here also I can look at the, uh, for example, footing. So here I want to look at the footing. So I can look at the uh, columns, okay? So here you can look at the columns. So in the columns, so as you can see, so we can go for composite columns as well. So here I created, you know, some of them, but definitely, you know, our capability is behind this. Okay, so here you have actually, you know, this kind of columns and definitely, you know, this column will be designed. It's not actually, you know, just uh, to analyze the column and get the forces and then separately uh, design the column. So it's not like that. So you can 
actually, you know, just um, go to design and even, you know, the software is able to generate the uh, drawing of this type of column as well for you. Yeah, and then, so if I go to, uh, let's say this option that I have. So as you can see here, I can go to different levels and they can actually you now just get the information. Okay, so what kind of uh, material I have actually you now for this, uh, for example, column or maybe for this column. So what kind of material I have? Okay, so this is actually, you know, the, the uh, again, the capability of the software. So you should not worry about, about this. Quick question, Dr. Khalid. I don't know if you've noticed in the question and answers, there was a gentleman that asked a, yes, about the gust factor. A, we have gust factor for wind loads. Is it automatic or is it manual? I know that in, yes. in India they have a gust factor. Can you answer yeah. that? Yes, actually, this is the automatic, okay. But if they want to, uh, let's say, cost, uh, let's say, manually, let's say, change or adjust the it's gust also factor. It's possible. Yeah, yeah, it's possible. Yeah, they can. Thank you. It. Thank you for that. Most, most welcome. Okay, so let me a little bit, you know, go ahead and uh, show you even more interesting thing for this complex, uh, let's say, uh, structure. So you see our solution is able to generate the reinforcement. Okay, so here, as you can see, we have the reinforcement. Okay, so this is the 3D reinforcement for all the elements that you have, doesn't matter. Okay, so here I don't have the wall, but uh, definitely, so later I will go back to the previous model and also I will show you the reinforcement for the walls as well. Okay, so this is actually you not know, the beauty of uh, SIPCAD. Okay, and if you remember in SIP architecture, so I showed you actually you know, this uh, reinforcement. So this reinforcement can be uh, imported from SIPCAD into BIM Server Center and from BIM Server Center, it can be imported to SIP architecture. Not only the reinforcement, I can say that almost everything, for example, here I have the connection, you see here. So this connection also can be, uh, you know, just imported to SIP architecture as well. So the connection can be designed in SIP Connect. Okay, so you have, you know, all this integration uh, seamlessly between our solutions. Okay, so let me go back to this model and uh, I want to show you the reinforcement for the walls as well. and also for the ramps and staircases, okay? So here, this is actually now the reinforcement for the walls. Okay, and also you can look at the reinforcement for the staircases and also for the ramps as well. I don't know, you notice that, you know, the, the uh, uh, let's say, you know, the model is so light, you know, once I'm working with the model, so as you can see, so simply actually, you know, I'm rotating it, actually, you know, I'm playing with this and without any, uh, let's say, uh, uh, crashing of the software or let's say, you know, any, uh, uh, let's say, uh, delay. Okay, so here you have this. And then let me just uh, close this. I want to show you also the capability of the software for applying the corbels as well. So here you can apply the corbel, okay, in different ways. So here I have it. Now let me show you the features that I created, you know, this kind of things. So if I go to this model and if I go to BIM, uh, sorry, beam definition. So here I have the corbel. Okay, so let me start with the corbel. So if I go to edit, so here I have the corbel. And then as you can see here, everything is customized. I can, you know, just uh, make it bigger. So here you have the material, geometry, reinforcement. You can, you know, change it to here. For example, here I can add the reinforcement, you know, whatever you want. And definitely, you know, everything actually, you know, can be uh, uh, let's say generated as a drawing, okay, uh, as a PDF, or uh, you can also link the software to physical printer if you have at the office. So you can actually you know just uh, uh, link it. So you can save the drawing as a DXF, DWG, or uh, let's say JPG or BMP or EMF uh, formats, okay. So I don't want to, and you can also you know see the three D view before. Uh, before let's say designing the corbel okay so here whatever you are doing so you can go to the 3d view and you can see the uh, 
uh, effect, okay? So for example, here, I can go to this one, and this is the thing that I created, you know, just to, uh, let's say, pass the design, okay? So this is the thing. And in terms of the uh, staircase, so here I have the stair, I can click on that, and then I can go to the edit, okay? So if I click on that, again, everything is parametric. And then, so I can go to the span, for example. So here I have different type of span. So as you can see, so everything is parametric. Okay, but uh, let me, you know, just click on the span that I have here. So you can, you know, just go to the straight uh, flight. So just like this, everything again is parametric. So you don't need to put too much effort, okay? And here also you have the spiral stair staircases as well. And again, everything is parametric. So just you need to do it. And also we have the pre-shape, okay? Assume that here you want to come up with the, uh, uh, let's say arbitrary shape, or let's say, you know, the desired shape that you are looking for. So for example, here I have this staircase, so I can go to add another one, maybe here, I want to add something like this. So you have the angle, you have the staircase radius, okay? So let me, for example, the radius, I can go for 1.5 uh, meter, okay, and the steps, for example, I can go for six, something like this, as you can see here, but for the next one, so I want to go for a straight one, okay, so I, again, you can adjust them, and then here you have it, I can go to another one, and from here, again, I can actually, you know, just uh, put it something like this, okay, so completely free, and then, you know, very easy to work with uh, a staircase, uh, and even, you know, the ramp, so, but before going to the ramp, so I can go to the uh, detail of the staircase, so here the software generate the drawing of the staircase as well. So here you have all the information. Okay, and uh, here also, if you have uh, several flights or a staircase, so all will be listed here. Again, from here, you can go to generate the DXF, DWG or PDF or whatever you want. And uh, also you can look at the forces as well. Okay, so here you can go to the forces. So here, maybe I can go to a proper view. For example, here, you can go to the contour plot. You can look at the displacement. You can look at the forces. Okay, so here you have different forces. And uh, also you can look at the checks. Okay, so here, again, we have the unique feature to check the, uh, let's say, you know, the shear values. And if there is any requirement for a steel area due to the shear. Okay, so here the software, you know, just tells you, you know, which area you need to, uh, provide the shear reinforcement as well. And uh, okay, so let me just uh, close this. If you want hey, to- Would you like for me to ask you the questions as they come along or wait till the end, Dr. Khalid? Up to you. Uh, no, I no, mean, whatever you prefer, but because we have a follow-up question from the gentleman about the gusts. Uh, he asked if we can show where it is that he can apply the gust information, okay? Okay. Maybe at the end of the uh, presentation, I will Okay, go back. so we'll do all of the questions at the end because I have several of them as well, okay? Yeah, because, yeah, sure, sure. All right, so let's do that. Thank you so much. Most welcome. Okay, so now, uh, so this was about the uh, staircase and ramp, okay? So in terms of the loading, actually, you know, you have all options, you know, to apply the load on the beams and the slabs, you know, partially, let's say, you know, fully UDL. So you have, you know, completely free. And also you can, you know, apply the load to the columns as well. So here you have the options, okay? Again, don't worry about the, uh, you know, the, the uh, learning curve of the software. So it is completely uh, easy. Okay, and uh, super easy, I can say that, okay, to, to learn the software. So, because everything actually, you know, is, uh, uh, put it actually, you know, in, in, in different stages. For example, here I have the column, okay, so column definition. So after uh, defining the column, so I can go to the beam definition, under beam definition, so I can actually, you know, go to complete my uh, model. So here you can apply the horizontal load or head load or vertical load actually now to the columns as well. Okay, so uh, you don't have any issue with applying the uh, loads. So in terms of the beams, so if I click on the beam, so here we have the family and also we have the type of the beam. So for example, here I have the flat beam with different types. Okay, so here you can see the uh, flat rectangular beam and flat T-beam and flat, let's say, beam with right flange and also with left flange, okay? So I'm not going to uh, read all this for you, but here we have the drop beam with different configuration. By the way, the last one actually, you know, is the tapered beam, okay? So you can actually, you know, look at this. If I want to show you, you know, what is tapered beam is, 
So I can go back here in this model. And then, so I will go to the render view once again. Okay, and then here I want to look at the beams. Okay, so this is the thing that I have. Okay, so you can go actually now to create such beam as well. Okay, so as you can see, it's not, uh, let's say, a kind of uh, prismatic beam. It is non-prismatic beam. Okay, so you can create it something like this. Okay, let me go back. Uh, here, okay, in terms of the wall, so I can go to, to the wall. So here I can click on this wall. And then, so here you have actually you now the, the base of the wall. So you can, you know, go for uh, fix or a strip footing without soil structure interaction or with soil structure interaction. So we have a, actually a nice solution for uh, considering the soil structure interaction. Okay, so here specifically and particularly we are talking about the soil structure interaction with the uh, footing or a strip footing of the wall. And then, so you can, you know, just assign the foundation beam at the bottom of the wall or maybe you know the wall is supporting by other structural elements so you can actually you know say that other structural support okay and here also you have other options if you want to apply the load to the uh, wall so you don't need again you know to calculate it by yourself so the thing that we have so you can go there and just you need to get this information from the geotech engineer so like you know the slope angle the uh, the the uh, soil weight unit weight or let's say you know the the uh, drainage loss or friction angle and uh, from also here you have actually you know the surcharge you know in different manner so uniform or a strip or line or point as you can see again so everything is parametric okay so you can you know very quickly you know come up with the uh, let's say you know the modeling and even you know for applying the load so uh, you have all this uh, uh, automatic uh, solutions but uh, in terms of the wall so what type of wall you have you have the reinforced concrete wall plain stress wall reinforced concrete block wall and also you have the masonry wall okay so just uh, for now you know for for your general information you know what kind of wall we have here so in terms of the slab okay so i can go to the uh, panel and uh, here let's say if i go to the enter panel so we have the joist velour slab i'm not sure in india this is actually no kind of uh, common type of slabs okay but uh, you know i know in middle east for example they are uh, using this type of slab a lot in europe also uh, i know actually no i commonly used you know this kind of slab so if i want to show you actually know what is this so again parametric modeling okay so you have this uh, a kind of uh, schematic view of the joist velour slab and the thing that you need to do here just you know key in the value and uh, you have actually you know the options to uh, select the material of the uh, let's say you know the block it can be concrete or ceramic or polystyrene or any generic material and also it can be as a reinforced joist or pre-stressed joist okay so you have all these uh, options okay but uh, again so if you go here just over your cursor at the top of each of this uh, joist velour slab and you will see actually you know what kind of uh, slab you have here okay so for those are involved in uh, precast industry so here we have the holocore slab okay and from here so maybe you know they want to create you know for uh for themselves so here you know they can add whatever they want so they can you know just uh, create their own catalog okay based on the catalog that they have for uh let's say the the, the holocore slab okay so you can actually you know just create it and uh uh, use it okay in in terms of the composite slab so here you have the form deck and also you have the composite deck so you have the predefined sections here and uh, you can add you know whatever you want by the way i need also you know to emphasize at this point that so it doesn't matter you are creating a column or beams or slabs or walls you can actually just uh, create your own library as well Okay, so you can, uh, for example, here, I can say that, okay, so this is the thing that I want to create my own library. So simply I can go to create, I can name it, okay, so whatever I want, and I can describe it. And from here, so just you need to key in the value, okay, for different, uh, let's say, parametric uh, options that you have here. And maybe, you know, you want to take care about the stats as well. So here, actually, no, just you can... Uh, key in the value and you can save it for yourself okay so this is actually you know the thing that i have it here and then so you can add it as much as you want 
okay and it is not only for this uh, uh model okay so once you saved it so later maybe you want to open up the site cat again and this uh, actually you know will be saved okay it is listed you know uh because the the software actually you know is installed in uh same computer okay so that's why so you have actually you know whatever you created in the uh, uh in the software Okay, so we have the Waffles Lab. So again, for the Waffles Lab, we are connected to the uh, manufacturers. Okay, so here we have the Open uh, Beam database. Okay, so you can go for the last form of the Waffles Lab or removable form of Waffles Lab. If I click on that, so you may understand actually know what is this kind of a slab. So let me just uh, show you from here. Okay, so this is actually now the uh, last form. Okay, so from here, so you have it. And again, so if you want to customize it, so it is very easy to customize. Okay, right now, let me just uh, show you some of them. And if I go to removable, so this is actually now the removable type. Okay, so you have the intensive library. But again, if you want to create it, any, uh, let's say, Waffle Slab. Uh, with any configuration so here again you know just you can type whatever you want and then here you have the options to come uh, to come up with the ribs okay and then here you know all the other again parametric options that you have so it is completely uh, i mean you know uh, you're completely free to whatever you want to create and then so you have the flatest slab maybe you know the most common type of a slab that we have so here you know just you need to um, you know, key in the thickness, and then you have the math foundation, and again here, so you have the subgrade modulus, you know, just to consider the uh, soil structure interaction. But one same thing about the soil structure interaction, so it is about something here, okay? So if I go to here, we have the foundation, and then so here I can, you know, just activate the verify footing sliding, okay? So this is actually now the option that we have for considering the soil structure interaction. Okay, and then here you have the adherence capacity of the soil and also the friction angle. Okay, apart from, you know, uh, other options that you have here, for example, you have the allowable uh, bearing capacity of the soil. Okay, so here you can, you know, key in the value or again, so every information that you need is here. So for example, what kind of soil you have, gravel, dense sand, medium dense sand, loose sand, silt, hard clay, semi-hard clay, or soft clay. And here you have actually now minimum and maximum bearing or allowable bearing capacity of the soil according, you know, to the uh, different type of the soil characteristic that you have. Okay, so even maybe, you know, in this uh, area, so you don't need to, uh, you know, wait for the geotech engineer, you know, to get this information. So as, as long as you know, actually know what kind of uh, soil type you have. So this is all from the code. Okay, so this is actually, you know, the thing about the uh, soil structure interaction. And then, so uh, in terms of the post tension, maybe I can, you know, just take you to this model. Okay, so this is here, actually, you know, the, the uh, it is a, again, you know, real structure that already designed by uh, one of our customer. Uh, if I show you the render view. Okay, so this is the model. So let me just activate everything here. Okay, and they used actually, you know, the Waffle Slab. And uh, in this levels, actually, you know, they use the uh, post-tension slab as well. So let me just close this. And then so I can go to uh, one of these levels. Okay, so here, and if I go to the post-tension, so I can go to the view option. And then here, so I have the post-tensioning. Okay, so if I go to the post-tension, you have all the option again, you know, just to edit the post-tension, you know, you, let's say assign the tendons, uh, move the anchors, edit the anchors, assign the anchors. And even, you know, finally you can go to the uh, 3D view of the uh, post-tension system that you have. Okay, so this is the thing that you have actually you know beautifully, you can actually you know look at the, uh, uh, let's say tendons okay and another thing that i want to emphasize again here so you can also um, uh, place the tendons inside the beams as well so as you can see here it is not only for the slab but here also i have the beam and you can actually now put the uh, tendon inside the beams as well okay so i know actually know uh, some of the um, uh, let's say pt solutions they cannot put the uh, uh, post tension tendons inside the beams. They can only go for the slabs. Okay, so this is maybe another 
uh, feature that we have here, uh, you know, compared to other solutions. And uh, so, yeah, so here you have, I don't want to, maybe I can show you some of them, for example, edit tendon. So if I click on that, so here, as you can see, the software automatically actually now calculate the uh, losses. Okay, so here you have the different losses or instantaneous losses. Okay, so here you have it. And in terms of the uh, anchorage, okay, so here you have the anchorage type. So you can actually you now put it there. So you can create, you know, the different type of the tendons. This is all, you know, um, depends on you. Okay, so you have the bonded uh, tendons and also you have the unbonded tendons as well. Okay, so you have it. And then here again, you have the options, you know, to key in the uh, values as well. Dr. Okay. Khalid, so, we yes, have please. about five minutes. So we have to start concluding. And have to so get sorry. to some questions, but no, no, it's okay. It's because this is all so interesting. I don't know if you want to get to a few certain things before closing. Maybe quickly, close. maybe yes, quickly, yes. you know, just, yeah, I can show them, you know, some of the models just to let them know that, you sure. know, this what's is possible. Only, yeah. What, okay, yeah, the, the possibility, yeah, the flexibility of the software. Okay. So here I have the water tank and then, so you can actually you now go for, uh, let's say, you know, water, water tank design. So maybe I can show them actually, you know, this uh, simple, uh, let's say, you know, the, the uh, uh, drop panels. Okay, so here you can actually, you know, go for drop panels. And then, so another one actually, you know, if they want to go for complex connections, uh, sorry, complex structures. Okay, so I just uh, uh, prepared this one. Okay, so here they have actually you know something like this. So here they have the inclined roof with the openings. Okay, so just uh, we try to say that actually you no, know, everything is possible using SiteCAD. Okay, so in terms of the modeling, so you don't have any limitations. So I don't think that uh, you know you have something more complex that you know this uh, kind of a structure. Okay, so here uh, I believe that you know almost every uh, let's say, you know, complex uh, uh, modeling you can find in this model. Okay, and uh, let me go to another, uh, maybe the last one. So here we have the Burj Khalifa. So just uh, we try to uh, remodel the Burj Khalifa in SiteCAD, okay, to, to uh, show the cap uh, capacity of the software. Okay, if I go to here, as you can see, you have the 163 floors okay and then from here again so you can you know just filter the floors okay something like this okay so here actually no you you have it okay so you can you know focus on different floors and then so you can uh, come up maybe you want to look at the uh, let's say structural systems okay so what kind of a structural system you have here if i go to for example the walls okay so this is actually you know the wall and then so you can actually you know just look at the wall Okay, maybe you want to look at the uh, beams, maybe here. Okay, so this is actually you not know, all the beams. Uh, maybe you want to look at the steel sections. Okay, so here you have actually you know the steel sections of this uh, brilliant structure. Yeah, I think that's it, uh, Jaime. And um, the last thing also, sorry, I'm so sorry, the last part. So definitely, actually, you no, know, you can bring the architectural drawing to SiteCAD, okay, as much as you want. For example, here I have actually you know this uh, drawing, which is actually you know I just uh, take it you know from uh, internet, and this is the you know kind of uh, PDF. So just we convert it to a uh, CAD file, and then so we bring it here, you know, just to create the uh, model, okay. And then so if I go to here, so I can you know just activate it, okay. So right now you can see the drawing is here. If I if I want to show you, if I deactivate the drawing, okay, so this is the model, but this is the model with the drawings, okay, so the drawings is here. And uh, I didn't show them uh, the, the uh, let's say, you know, the drawing, uh, Jaime, so I don't know. Uh, Go ahead yeah. and show, yeah, if you want to show uh, the type of drawing, I think the drawing is important so that they see an example of the drawings the program generates. Because okay. again, I remind everybody, the structures program he's showing, it's all the same software that's doing all of this stuff you're seeing. The, the drawings is just a couple of minutes, it's not a problem. Yeah.
Okay, so here you have actually you know the uh, drawings. You can add, you know, the drawings as uh, as you like. Okay, for example, here I have the elevation uh, view of the uh, columns with the bar bending schedule as well. So you have the column schedule. So the configuration is not customized. So you can customize the configuration. I don't have time actually now to show you how you can configure uh, the uh, uh, drawings. Okay, so let me go to another one, another type. So for example, here they have the uh, beam drawings. So with the sections, and all the bar bending schedule. Uh, I can show them the maybe wall drawings. So here, So the ramp already I showed them. So here, this is actually you now the ramp. So they can generate the uh, plan view or, and even you know the, the layout of the structure. They can also generate the uh, foundation loading as well. Okay, so. I, I didn't actually now generate that one here, but uh, all, all this uh, kind of drawing possible in Cype Solutions. I think that's it from my side.